operates as an umbrella for three primary entities. One is SCAP, the Small Craft Advisory Press, another is FormLab, another is Reboot. All entities have as part of their mission to bring in visiting artists and researchers to work with them and utilize the facilities that we have at FAR. SCAP is a collaborative book arts press that invites artists from across the nation, artists and scholars, to work collaboratively with our faculty, staff, and students to create book arts editions. We use old and new technology. We combine our letterpress and our other traditional printing technologies with more contemporary tools like laser cutting and 3D printing. As a visiting artist here at FAR, I was brought in as a lead artist on a collaborative book project. So there are four of us working on the project, really combining four voices into one. It's really inspiring to be here at FAR and working with other artists and kind of getting out of the comfort zone of my own studio and into a new space with uh, great modern facilities. So really in this project we have gone back and forth between um, traditional and modern technology. Um, and that's been a great experience for me. FormLab started in 2008 as an endeavor to move uh, the digital work that was being done into the physical realm with the purchase of a 3D printer and a laser cutter. And in its current iteration here at FAR, it's doing very much the same thing of where all of the work is entirely this digital, physical divide and moving back and forth between those two things. AdMap is a project that I've been working on since uh, summer of 2012 and it is a large format 3D printer and CNC machine that we can use kind of just as a base for whatever material or exploration that we're trying to do. So we recently finished a project with our classics department replicating a collection of objects we did not have physical access to that we had to design from drawings. Some of the objects were 3D printed and one of the larger objects was actually lathed on the large scale 3D printer. A lot is in an experimental stage right now. I mean, we're, we're trying to combine art and science, and we're trying a lot of new ideas, but it's something that is relatively easy to do. To perfect it will be a lot harder, I think. We might be able to print pottery from a number of different sites and set those pots up side by side, and then people could uh, understand them as how they relate from one side to another. It's not just about the projects that we do in-house, it's also about where our researchers go with this work and this new knowledge. Rob Duart is a faculty in residence who now is developing a new entity here, Reboot. Reboot is a new unit of FAR and it's a laboratory that does a couple things. There are two, two main projects, both of which look at our culture's production of waste as a starting point to talk about technology how we produce it, how we consume, and how we dispose of it. So one is called Fix Shop. It's actually a repair shop. It's kind of a, a conceptual art project in which our student researchers are working in what looks like and feels like a repair shop. And uh, this has a lot to do with kind of the idea of repair as a political act in a culture that is more attuned to disposing of things and uh, replacing things. The other project is called the DIY Resource Recovery Project and we're looking at kind of novel and strange sometimes ways of repurposing what would otherwise be waste, trying to find new uh, ways of using this material and transforming it into something useful. As a faculty in residence at the Facility for Arts Research, I had the opportunity to interact with knowledgeable staff and specialized digital fabrication equipment to complete a small project. This experience gave me the confidence to run the machines and be able to incorporate them within the Department of Interior Architecture and Design's Furniture Design Curriculum. We also invite opportunities to apply artist skill sets to non-arts projects. We have worked with chemists, physicists, and medical professionals. This summer I worked on a project where I had 3D files of my brain, so my entire brain was scanned. 
and an MRI, and I had turned those files into 3D STL files and wanted to print them in porcelain. It's given me an opportunity to really think about how to use a lot of the tools out here um, with the work that I'm looking to fabricate or create. And a lot of these things are digital tools where I want to put the idea of a touch centered practice into a digital practice and meld the two together. The tools out here really facilitate that type of research and I think that eventually I'll be able to use these ideas that I have very succinctly with the tools out at FAR. And I'm, I'm looking for a long-term relationship with digital tools and um, my own hands to fabricate these shapes and ideas together. So that's FAR, the Facility for Arts Research. SCAT, FormLab, Reboot, and soon we'll have the Comma Project, our latest addition to our entities here at FAR. We also have faculty researchers who you've seen in this video, uh, and researchers from across campus. Uh, and we've brought in researchers from many other institutions. So we very much welcome researchers who want to work in the arts to contact us. We'd love to hear your ideas.